Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in today's tutorial, we will be looking at two concepts, namely fbox and mini pages. Now, uh, a box, as it's mentioned, is just used for putting a border or a box around specific contents. Uh, sometimes in documents, it might be necessary to uh, put boxes around certain contents like certain important paragraphs or certain important uh, images, tables, uh, certain definitions, so on and so forth. Just to just for an uh, aesthetic feature or just for to give us a clear distinction between the other parts of the document. Okay, now and also. Uh, sometimes it may in our documents when you write one uh, it might be necessary to write multiple contents simultaneously or divide the entire doc divide the document into separate separate sections or sub pages or with i mean i mean what i mean to say is some uh, small sections in the of pages where you can write some specific contents okay now uh, for that uh, latex has uh, a feature called as mini page now what mini page does is that it literally creates a mini page inside the document on the main page okay now uh, before i talk to you guys further and tell you and uh, to kind of talk to you guys further and say what it is and everything i'll just show you a demo as to how it works okay now first of all uh, be let's be before going to boxes let me just tell you about mini pages so let me ju uh, let me just uh, cut this part over here and then paste it over here now to write a mini page it's very simple you just type you just start a begin environment and then type mini page so it's like this uh, you just type a begin environment and then in mini page option you just type mini page and you will get two options one with uh, an, uh, an alternate argument other with a plain mini page option like this go for this one because I'll this will be a, uh, I have a little more features over here I can tell you that go for this one press enter and that's about it okay now once you do that okay uh, in the after in the square brackets write T now T stands for uh, tabbing that's uh, that's what if I remember rightly okay okay now uh, it just places uh, it just places the contents tabulated in a in table manner or in a tabulated manner that's about it and uh, next what we need is that we need the width of the page defined now uh, the mini pages can have any height as they want that's not a problem but the thing is they, the but the thing is you just have to specify them how wide that is now if you remember li in our last tutorial we were while discussing about multiple uh, discussing what figures and how to place figures inside uh, documents multiple figures inside documents we were speaking something about text width just to give you a rec just to recall a bit text width is actually the width in the page the uh, width of the page wherein you are, that is allowed to write text now if you look at this document the first letter first text can be written somewhere on this left margin and the ma and the max and the last width I mean the last uh, character text on this page I mean on on the single line will be written somewhere can be written somewhere over on the right okay now these two are the points now between this this point and this point between this point and this point uh, you have a big width wherein you are allowed to write text and this region is called as text width okay now uh, if I write point two five times text width the mini page here will occupy 25 percentage of the text width from the left simple as that suppose if I put this to be 0.48 it will occupy 48 percentage of the time text width or literally 48 percentage of the page from here somewhere close to the uh, uh, somewhere close to the middle but slightly away from the middle that's about it now what I've written here is that I've just started a begin page environment and I ended up ended it over here ended it over here and within that I just wrote a small paragraph like I am in a hot city on top of a big mountain with a few trees eating a banana on a starry evening looking for a shooting star that's just me being a little creative <laughs> that's about it <laughs> okay now if I come if I run this there you have it if you see you can clearly see that uh, this context 
does not go beyond 25 approximately does not go beyond 25 percentage of the page width of the page of the page okay and that's because this region is behaves as a small part of a mini of a page similarly if i want to create more than one mini page i can do i can do it as follows so if i were to cut this which is nothing but the same repetition of the same now what i have here is that i just have one mini page which we just which came out over here and the other mini page this one which will come out over here so check this out okay um, it came in the next line that's because i just gave a, a hard written over here now if i just remove this hard written over here let's see what happens there you have it now the text with uh, now this the second the mini page just aligns towards the next now what we do let's let's remove these option arguments and let's see how this turns out to be now if you remove the optional arguments you don't see much difference but the only thing is the line and uh, they just go one inch one inch uh, i mean slightly above uh, let's just keep this t, t and let's see what's happening you see what's happened it just uh, tabs a bit and then gives a little spacing and it just i mean what i'm trying to say is that it just uh, when you give a t it just tries to uh, relocate the position uh, of the mini page accordingly so t actually is for tabbing i suppose or in a table manner i suppose that's what i remember there are two more options like h for here and f for force fit or fit something like that okay let's see let's see what h does h stays here and i guess f there's one more color f nothing okay let's put this t uh in both both of them so that we just remain as it is there you have it it just put it just gave a tab i guess it just gave a normal position and then it's written as it is similarly if i want to if i suppose if i write h fill over here h fill over here let's see what happens there you have it if you write a h fill the space the in the space in between them the they will be filled in the page such that there will be a lot of horizontal spacing between them okay and now uh, this way uh, if i were to uh, change the distance of them something like 0.48 and this to be 0.48 okay 0.48 might be too much 0.4 check this out with the h fill option okay you do see that there is a small spacing over here okay this way you have an option to uh, uh, format the layout of the document quite nicely as per your choice with mini pages now if i set this to 48 now only the top one check this out uh, the first mini page on the left grows a little big whereas the other mini pages stays as it is not a problem okay this way you have a control on the contents of the page using mini pages okay now uh, if i were to con continue on with that if i just cut this up and paste it at the bottom let's see what happens now these two mini pages are actually full in this line you cannot fill them again so they just go into the other line okay so let's see if i just put another h fill nothing happens because the, after this you can't fill anything and if i were to put another h fill over here uh, now these two real realign accordingly okay suppose if i were to remove all this h fill option uh, let me keep this as it is okay let me keep this as it is uh, and let uh, now let me just write the mini page four times with the same option check what happens you have like one two three and four mini pages aligned next to each other without any spacing without any spacing and this okay and this can be advantages or disadvantages depending on the case okay now that's about the mini pages and now let's look at the other property called as fbox now what this command fbox does is that it just puts a box around all the contents that's the most simplest explanation you can have so what i'm doing here is that i'm having a mini page with 
0.33 times the text width okay is will occupy approximately 33 percentage of the page and that mini page will be enclosed with, is enclosed with an fbox command so you'll have a box around this mini page so check this out now if you notice you can clearly see that this content has a box around it and there is a small spacing uh, between the pages and uh, this way you have an option of putting boxes around doc around uh, doc contents now other than that uh, if i want to use mini pages and boxes together it's also possible now just check this out i just put a f box and inside it i've pu i've put a mini page and i just wrote hfill and i wrote another f box and inside it i've written another mini page okay now if our intuition if if we go our based on our intuition and based on what we learned the first mini page will come over here with a box another mini page will come over here with a box and you'll have about some spacing between uh, these two so if i were to run this yeah and our guess was and the guess is right there's a small spacing in between them quite nice okay this way uh, mini pages are very useful and boxes are, are also very useful now uh, in this context uh, if you want to put figures in, in mini pages it is also possible by using boxes and mini pages in uh, in uh, in collaboration in collaboration okay you if you put images inside uh, mini page option by removing these paragraphs okay or figures and by removing these paragraphs you can uh, get to get to do a lot of stuff by rearranging the images in the document and as per your choice and will and wish okay it's quite possible and becomes quite easy as per your quite easy so this way uh, it also gives you a little more hand little more control on how to write your contents on the page on the document okay now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorial uh, we will be talking about how to write reports uh, with a report report class with a report document class in LaTeX. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye